So I can answer, I can answer your question for that, but... Mm -hmm. We'll have more of that pretty soon. So we'll we let Richard like, finish up we and then we'll come back to questions. that. Okay. Where do I finish at? Tama County Against Turbines is the largest sustained citizens local coalition ever to attend your meetings at a single time and over a sustained period of time in 27 years. So why wouldn't you sit down and talk with us about your proposed public comment policy or give, a give us a chance to review today's draft in advance of the meeting. Why was it not on the Tama County website? No comments. Ahead, All right, sir. so back to the Heartland. So we see it's on the agenda. What is the purpose of the agenda item today that says Heartland? Uh, renewal. Is it um, just the renewal of it yeah. that you do on a... We do it annually. Yeah, when they get here. Mm -hmm. So I know we just kind of talked about, so is there still 10 counties or is it down to only a couple? There's 10 counties. There is 10 that still use Heartland? Yes. Okay, so it's not dissolving or you're not changing insurances or anything like that? No, ma'am. Okay. All right. How much money has been spent by Tama County funds for outside attorney fees paid to Carlton Salmons, the Heartland Risk Insurance Risk Pool, or any other outside legal counsel by Tama County government, including you as supervisors? Nothing right now. So there's no retainer fee or anything that's, is it just all through your insurance or how it, does that Part work? of it's through our insurance. When it's, um, when we've used our hours, then it'll be county funds. Okay. Do we know when that point will come? Uh, Is it close or? I'm not sure yet. I don't, I'm not positive yet. Okay. Who might be able to give us an answer to that? When he bills us. And how often do you get billed? Uh, well, we haven't gotten billed, so. Do you get billed monthly or quarterly? If, we or? if, if they were going to bill us, they would bill us monthly. Yes. So do you pay annual payments to the Heartland Insurance Risk Pool typically? For, for insurance coverage? Our coverage, yeah. So and when does your next annual payment come due? Um, after July 1. After July mm -hmm. 1. And yeah, we pay at the beginning of the year every year. Okay. And they will talk about that today. There'll be some Heartland representatives here that'll speak to that. Yep. Yeah, the public's very concerned about how much money the county is spending with outside attorneys because of the supervisor's choice not to use the services of Tama County Attorney Brent Heron. So the public is just looking how much money is being spent, how much is redundant in terms of spending on multiple attorneys, and how much money is going for attorneys outside of Tama County specifically. So that's the questions people are looking for an answer to. Well, nothing yet. As taxpayers, we're interested in learning how many taxpayer dollars have been spent on outside attorneys because of your choice as supervisors not to use the services of the county attorney, as Kathy mentioned. The public deserves to know how you're spending our money. And you have a responsibility to look out for the public health and public safety of all residents of Tama County. And we intend to continue to hold you accountable to uphold the responsibility and the law. Thank you for your time. Does anyone else have any questions or comments? Uh, you said the only time we talk about the public comment policy will be later on the agenda. Will you be taking questions from the group that's here during that period, or will we only be listening to your discussion? Because we're asking questions now, and if we're not allowed to ask questions later, I'm just curious about that. Um, we, uh, the resolution, I think now would be the time you have to say something about the resolution, because normally when we do resolutions we've already uh had the resolution drawn up and then they'll talk about it at that time so when so, you're asking questions about the public policy you could comment policy and they said no comment we'll talk about it later right we won't be able to have any input then you probably could they would let you wrong, wrong with you. they would let you they will let you do it yeah they're they're good about that I'll let you. <laughs> 
that will limit the <coughs> That's also. true. So <coughs> the reason, so um, when we're doing that, it'll be fast because we have a lot today on the agenda and we do have um, renewal at 10 too. So we have a lot to take care of. So yeah, if you have a, one of you want to ask a question, that might be okay, but we probably will not spend like 15, 20 minutes on it because um, it so, just takes too much time. Question, how does the public know what the resolution is for Heartland when the agenda didn't include the full resolution? Again, we're seeing very cryptic agendas here there's that you not, have to know not, what it is. There is not a resolution for Heartland. I'm you just sure. said they were talking about a resolution. Is it a you, bill? No, you have, you, uh, so you, okay, so there's resolutions. There's, um, we'll be meeting with Heartland. It has nothing to do with the resolution. We do a renewal every year with Heartland. And so are we you, discuss our renewal. Are you listing what the cost is and will the public be made aware of what every the cost year, and the cost every increase? Every year, okay. every year. But again, yeah. the public comment policy was not made available to the public in advance. That's the big question of how can you enact or even consider a public comment policy without asking the public, engaging the public, publishing the draft in advance of the meeting so that the public has a chance to weigh in. This is your time. This is your so time. So you have to be here in it person. It is on the agenda that this is the way it works. So this is how Tama County does business. You're here. So if you would like to say something about it, okay. But and we are, and we're concerned that if you're enacting a public comment policy and you're not providing that to the public in advance, that's, uh, that's not transparent and it's not in the best interest of the public. And again, we would just like to know from the supervisors, why do you think you need a public comment policy and what do you hope to accomplish if you do enact one? already told us you had a limited amount of time. We've got time now before 9.30. We, you know. Yeah, just help us understand. We'd like to know what you're thinking and what your viewpoint is. Help us understand the why. Is this a brand new policy? I mean, that's a fairly simple question. Just talk. Gentlemen. I'm going to talk to you about something that doesn't have anything to do with wind. I'm going to talk to you about leadership. All three of you were elected to leadership positions in this county, correct? No comment. No comment. No comment. Leadership positions elected by the people of this county. And when we elect leaders, we expect them to lead. Okay. Well, I don't think you three understand. We have an emergency in this county because your policies are letting rats into our county. We have an emergency and we are asking you to lead. Lead this county away from this emergency. Okay? I don't think you guys understand. It is an emergency. We need leaders. Leaders don't sit there and no comment. Leaders get up out in front of the public and lead. Thank you. 